Hello everyone, it's been a while since I did a JRPG news segment, and there have been some things that have transpired in the past few days that hell I want to talk about, so let's get started. So let's talk about Xenoblade Chronicles 3 actually being a thing. It's not officially announced, but it's been quote unquote leaked from a voice actor that has worked on the previous games and she let a uh, slip of the tongue happen so to speak so now we know that Xenoblade Chronicles 3 is in the works and that it is a direct sequel to Xenoblade Chronicles 2. Now I'm not gonna lie as exciting as this news is I would have much rather took a sequel to Xenoblade Chronicles X. That cliffhanger still keeps me up at night for that game, but I guess before we can get that sequel to X, we would probably need a build up towards it, so I'm guessing a remaster of X for the Switch would have to come out first. But I guess I'll have to wait a couple more years to see that sequel and that cliffhanger being resolved. Anyway, with Xenoblade Chronicles 3 on the horizon and it could be announced soon, I just hope the game will be in a much better condition when it comes to its launch time than Xenoblade Chronicles 2 was. Xenoblade Chronicles 2, while it was announced in 2017 and came out in 2017, I think a good amount of people who played Xenoblade Chronicles 2 day one in 2017, they'll probably tell you like I will that the game needed a delay into the following year to work out some kinks. At the end of the day, probably minor issues. The game needed a delay, and I don't want to give you guys the wrong idea. Xenoblade Chronicles 2 wasn't unplayable when it first released in 2017, but it did receive a numerous amount of updates to fix some graphical issues, and I remember the map system being updated so the navigation would be a lot better. Just small things like that that the game had trouble with on launch. But hey, I guess they fixed the stuff post launch, so I guess it's not too much of a big deal. I would say the only things I don't want to see from Xenoblade Chronicles 3 is the return of the Blade Gotcha loot box system that they had. In case you don't know, you would get random blades and a sort of system mechanic that you would have to use certain in game items to get a chance to getting certain characters in the game. And this basically was a loot box gotcha system type of model. Of course, there was no actual money being exchanged but for the most part the chances of you getting a certain blade that you want was more or less in line with how a gotcha game functions and it took me 13 hours just to get cosmos in my game i know some people who just randomly decide to go on the blade summoning and they got cosmos within a couple of hours of playing the game so please monolith off do not put blade gotcha loot box system into this game I'm begging you, don't do it. And since Cosmos was in the game and then you had Telos in the game as DLC, let's see some more Xeno characters. Can we get Shion maybe? Maybe we can get Junior? Maybe we can get some Xeno Gears characters? Let's see some more Xeno representation in this game. As much as I would like to see Cosmos in the next game still, let's give some other characters in the Xeno in the Xenoblade series, in the Xeno series rather, a chance to shine. Anyway, I got some more thoughts and expectations that I have for Xenoblade Chronicles 3. Let me know in the comments section if you want me to talk about those more in depth. I can do a separate video on that. But for now, let's just move on. Moving on to Tales of Arise. Tales of Arise will have a demo releasing very, very soon on August 18th. So we will be able to get the game in our hands finally and be able to play the next entry in the long running Tales of series. I'm very excited for this. It's been a while since I played a Tales of game. I believe since 2016, since Tales of Berseria came out. I am very much looking forward to playing this latest entry. Honestly, maybe I'm putting this entry, I'm setting my expectations for Tales of rise a little bit high i've said it numerous times i don't think anybody would disagree that the tales of series has gone down a bit in popularity and notoriety in the eyes of the general public general game fan or you know just general jrpg fan for the most part i really am hoping this game breaks the mold and this game becomes a major success but this demo is going to tell me a lot about the game when i get it in my hands and i actually play it myself it's going to tell me 
me if this game has those legs. And I'm not saying the Tales of series necessarily needs this game to be a breakout success, so to speak, because I think the Tales of series is still going to keep going, but I feel it's definitely going to be falling behind or stay behind when it should be maybe at the forefront, so to speak. Let me know what you guys think about that. So, yes, Tales of Arise demo is coming. I will definitely play it. I'll maybe even live stream it if you guys want me to, and I'll definitely make a video of my thoughts of the demo overall. Tales of Arise is set to release September 10th, and that cannot come fast enough. It is still one of my most anticipated releases of 2021. In other JRPG news, Square Enix wants to know what you think of Dragon Quest. For the 35th anniversary, they are having a Dragon Quest survey, and it wants you to answer various questions on your experience with the Dragon Quest games. It asks you stuff like, what was your first Dragon Quest game? Where do you mostly play the Dragon Quest games on? And what was the last Dragon Quest game that you played? And my first Dragon Quest game was Dragon Quest VIII, and I absolutely loved it from beginning to end. Thought it was one of the most charming games I played especially at the time I played numerous Dragon Quest games since then on DS and you know found ways to play them on PC as well um when I think about it I'm not sure which Dragon Quest game I love more Dragon Quest 11 or Dragon Quest 8 it's kind of a tie between the two um, they're both really good games, have a lot of thought, and have a lot of charm, and have just, just Dragon Quest aura around them that they are just really good, simple games. And I think this survey is definitely going to tell uh, Square which direction they probably want to take Dragon Quest 12 or any other Dragon Quest games that they might want to release or re-release. So I'll put a link to the um, survey down below so you can give your thoughts on it. I'm still very much looking forward to Dragon Quest 12, but that is a long, long time away. And hopefully in the meantime, the Dragon Quest 3 2D HD remake will come out and that will preoccupy my time and my need for more Dragon Quest. Okay guys, that's all for this segment of JRPG News. Let me know what you guys think about all this in the comments down below. Remember to hit that like button and of course subscribe if you want to do the channel. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.